All right, my name's Phil. I like talking about politics. And no sooner had I put my second video out today than it was announced that Theresa May was going to be giving a statement, a live statement to the nation. This is most unusual prime ministerial statement. Um, I mean, she gave statements today because Wednesday is the day for prime minister's questions. Uh, but, you know, not as many people listen to that or even watch it on the news. Uh, but, you know, it is quite rare, you know, I, you, the Prime Minister doesn't very often give statements like this. And, and so I, I think a lot of people would have had a, a lot of attention for it. It was very late. It was delayed by quite a long time. So you started to think, oh, there's something going on here. Uh, everyone getting quite excited about it. So she finally came out and, and, and gave her speech. What the bloody hell was that? There's nothing. There's nothing in it apart from what she said in Prime Minister's Question Times. She had the nerve to say that she was on our side. She blamed all the other MPs for the problem. It's all their fault, not her fault, all theirs, which is exactly what she did in Prime Minister's Questions. She then had the audacity to say that we don't want another referendum. I don't think you want another referendum. Oh, bless. No, you're quite right. We shouldn't be allowed to say things. We shouldn't be allowed to decide on things. Over half a million people went to the trouble of demonstrating for just that last year and are going to do so again this weekend. Doesn't want another referendum. She said nothing new at all. Nothing. Nothing that took account of Donald Tusk's statement. Because bear in mind, Prime Minister's Question Time was quite a while ago. Since then, well, there have been debates in Parliament which she couldn't be asked to hang around for. And Donald Tusk, President of the EU Council, has said something as well, which seems to be, although I've already said in the last video, sort of helps her out. At the same time, it's in variance to what she's asking for. Because she's asking for an extension so that she can carry on having votes. Well, that's not what they're saying. So you'd think she'd say something about that. No, not at all. I mean, of course, Donald Tusk's statement isn't a statement of fact in terms of exactly what the EU are going to grant in terms of an extension. Yeah, sure. But, you know, you've got to pay attention to it. Um, so I can, I can literally only imagine that the reason for this statement was, as she said, um, in Prime Minister's Question Times, she, she gets asked tiresome questions about her incompetence. Whereas just standing at a lectern and delivering a statement from inside Downing Street, so you've got no journalist shouting out questions to her either, uh, and just broadcast her speech to the nation, no one asks her any bothersome questions about how incompetent she is or how petulant she is, how childish she is. That's it. <laughs> so I think we ought to talk about something, though. I'm going to do a third video, which I sort of committed myself to thinking she would act like the rest of you, thinking she would actually say something. But there was actually a little bit of extra little news that I didn't find out about until after I'd done my second video. And that was our other glorious party leader, Jeremy Corbyn. So he called on the Prime Minister, Prime Minister's Question Times, for an urgent meeting with her. She refused. Nice one, Theresa. That's the way to get parliamentary support. But anyway, he... Also, they were also organising a heads of party meeting today, which obviously is only going to include heads of opposition parties. And he turned up to it, saw Chukka Amuna there, who, for those who aren't aware, is the former Labour MP who broke away and helped form the independent group, this group of former Labour and some Conservative MPs as well. Um, so he turned up to that and went, he shouldn't be there. He's not a party leader, which technically is not. But at the same time, the independent group, although it's not an official party, is a group within Parliament that is coordinated. And he's gone along as their spokesman. So that's a ridiculous reason. And uh, he walked out. <laughs> he just buggered off. This is the other parties saying the Conservatives are being childish, or at least their leader is. We need to take control. We need to decide what we are going to do to stop Parliament looking ridiculous. He turns up going, he's not my friend, I'm going home. What the hell is going on? There's only two people, there's only two MPs in Parliament that can actually do anything. That is Theresa May, the Prime Minister, and she is determined to force MPs to choose between her deal and no deal. She's shifted from her posi position of 
her deal, no deal or no Brexit, because she needed to do that because she needed to get MPs on her side who didn't want no deal. But she also needed to get the ERG and DUP on her side who didn't want no Brexit. So that's why she would say to one group, well, if you don't vote for it, it's no Brexit. She said to the other group, if you don't vote for it, it's no deal. Now it's just if you don't vote for it, it's no deal. So the ERG are going, oh, nice one. Ah, lovely. So what what is going on? And then Jeremy Corbyn, who represents the largest party, the one who, who could actually, you know, form a nucleus of a movement that would defeat the government. Uh, obviously, it is going to need some, some Tory rebels as well. Walks out on a meeting on an, a week away. Just over a week away before the cliff edge, which we all know he's perfectly happy going over. I don't know what to say about this. The two driving forces of the commons... Our children. We have somehow elected children to the most senior positions within the House of Commons, the Prime Minister and the official leader of the opposition. How did this happen? How did this happen? How did it happen that at exactly the same time we have, during the most difficult for any parliament, issue that Britain has ever faced. People keep saying since the Second World War. In the Second World War, our Parliament was actually united. Yes, different people, different parties, but they were united. In fact, the Prime Minister, the, well, who became, during the Churchill, became Prime Minister during the Second World War, formed a government of national unity. He made sure that there was unity in Parliament. This is completely different. We're trying to do something exceedingly difficult, monstrously difficult, without any unity, even within parties, let alone in Parliament. And we're basically buggered. We are buggered. You know, no deal. I said before, with, without even knowing what was going to happen today, that no deal was more likely than the other outcomes. Other people were saying, mm, I'm not sure it is. Not okay, but it's an opinion, isn't it? We can't really say. Um, surely it's got to be now. I, I, I struggle to think of a path through this now for Parliament. Tomorrow will possibly be an acid test. Uh, if Parliament does nothing but talk tomorrow, if they don't crystallise around something, and, and they, they've got to accept this, this. There is no other deal. I mean, there was a, someone supporting May's deal who was making the point, and unfortunately it is a valid point. There is no other deal. You know, Jeremy Corbyn can't say, well, why don't you think about my deal? That's not, it needs negotiating, it needs fleshing out. And although the EU were friendly about it, they're not going to entertain it as a serious proposition because there isn't the time now, the negotiations are over. It's May's withdrawal deal, no deal. And, and let's face facts, although there's a, there are some countries in the EU, aside from ourselves, who regard no deal, they've said as much, Poland has said as much, Republic of Ireland, unsurprisingly, have said as much, they regard a no-deal Brexit as the worst of all possible outcomes. There are plenty of EU countries that do not consider it the worst of all possible outcomes. France, chief amongst them. They are basically ready to pull the plug right now. So another referendum, unless Parliament properly gets behind it like now, preferably before the summit, and, and says, look, that's it, we're, we're doing this. Um, I don't see it. You know, people need to say to Parliament, this, this is the scenario. We are, they need to say to them, you are not voting for her deal next week. We know that. We all know that we're not voting for her deal next week. So unless we get behind another referendum, because the EU are making it pretty clear that they're not going to give us a, an extension to carry on talking crap for another few months. So referendum is, that is it. That is the only way now to avoid no deal. The only way. And if they don't, and I'm sorry I don't see them doing it. And and that's it. That is it. We're out with no deal. And we're out on the 29th of March. And some people, no doubt, in the comments will be delighted at this news. I'm sure they will. And uh, we'll see if you're still delighted in a year. But, you know, there you go. Uh, you get to try out your little plan. Um, that's it. That's really it. We, we've got the House of Commons is a kindergarten. 
where there isn't even a teacher in charge. Well, there's the speaker, but he doesn't. He can't. He's not really in charge. He just sort of says what how things work. He's more of a chair, really. We've we've got children throwing dummies at each other. That that is the UK Parliament, the United Kingdom Parliament, which used to be a beacon unto the world. Gordon Bennett. We should we should we should abandon the House of Commons. We should just start holding parliamentary meetings in a bouncy castle. It'd probably suit them more, wouldn't it? Anyway, that's it. That's all I've got to say tonight. Sorry. It was a complete non-event. Um, hopefully, something remarkable that was worthy of discussion will happen tomorrow. There may well be several videos as well. There is a new poll out, by the way, uh, for some hopefully sensible topics, but they may not be until Friday. It depends what happens tomorrow. Uh, you can find that. People do keep asking me. You just click on the channel name. There's a series of tabs. One of them says community tab. You can find it in there. So thanks for listening anyway. I hope you enjoyed well, what, what it was. <laughs> if you did, don't forget to click the like button. Uh, subscribe for further content and click the bell notification as well. I'll try and keep you updated. Until next time, I'll see you later.